going to the question in Argentina. So clearly uh, for a banking system that it's so small, still like around 20% of GDP, uh, there's plenty of growth for or plenty of space for consolidation in, in, a, in a system that it's still comprised of 60 plus banks. Um, obviously, like in the rest of the region, if, if you look at the other countries in Latin America, I would say it's relatively natural to have relatively high concentrations uh, within the banking sector. So I think it's not, not uncommon to have the five major banks accounting for two thirds of the banking system, in some cases even more. Uh, so th the same, it's already happening in, in Argentina. So you have like the two, two large state owned banks, uh, so Banco Nacion, Banco Provincia, two of them accounting for one third of the banking system. And then you have a number of other private sector banks after that. So you have, might have entities such as Macro, Galicia, the, the, the local subsidiaries of the Spanish banks, which are perhaps like better positioned to more rapidly up with this uh, near term and medium and medium term growth prospects. So, uh, but it's also true that most of the consolidation it's more likely to happen in the uh, the lower end of the scale. So those are the ones that are going to be uh, the smaller banks, more concentrated with more limited business volumes, are the ones that are going to be more rapidly uh, challenged by the uh, hopefully uh, declining inflation and probably narrowing margins. Uh, so I, th I think that's that's where the, the spectrum in which most of M activity could could happen so and, and again the the largest names that I mentioned especially on the private uh, on the private land those are the, the ones that could be better positioned to to cope with those opportunities